Uruguay absolutely loves its art. It loves its art so much that half their currency notes have artists or art on them. From street artists to high-end galleries, this country has evolved in a hundred years to become a global art collector's destination. And we're going to be following Uruguayan art over a century. But before that, I invited Abhinav Kumar from Montevideo to talk about how entrenched art is in Uruguay. Uruguay has a legacy of artistic and literary communities, especially in a small size. Uruguay is a very beautiful country. You will find people chilling out at the beach in the evening to the people who are doing graffiti art on the street at midnight. What's really interesting is when their central bank wanted to celebrate its 50th anniversary, they dedicate the entire back of a note to a mural they had in their lobby. That's how much they love art. <laughs> It all started in the 1930s with a guy named Joaquin Torres Garcia. He started an art school called Universal Constructivism and he gave Uruguay a uniquely Uruguayan artistic identity. His work looked like this. To understand this, you need to understand what was going on in Europe and what was going on in Uruguay at the time. Europe in the 1800s had something called academic art. They basically were fascinated with ancient Greece and ancient Rome. They were trying to resurrect those. So the subject matter they had was generally mythology, history, or approved portraits. And a lot of these paintings had nuances, subtext to them, so you'd have to be very, very educated to know what's going on. Now, Cubist painters like Pablo Picasso didn't like this idea or the restrictions, so they said that we're going to show everything up front. It doesn't have to be geometrically accurate, but you have to capture every angle of whatever it is you're trying to show in your paintings. At the same time, Europeans were exploring other parts of the world intensively. The Pacific was being explored, Africa was being colonized, and and painters were fascinated with the much simpler ways of living that were coming out of these parts of the world. And they said, let's forget mythology, let's paint that. And this idea stuck with Torres Garcia, who was studying with Picasso and doing all this cubist painting. Now Torres Garcia moves back to Uruguay and his country has gone through a huge wave of immigration. About 48% of the people are European immigrants and they bring over European culture. Now he's concerned that his country's art would be excessively influenced by Europe and he admires simple living in Uruguay so he draws inspiration from pre-Columbian art which is basically ancient South American art and from the Incas and a lot of his paintings are very very simple compositions they've got symbols like the sun water and stars that come from pre-Columbian art and this style is called constructivism which would influence artists across South America for generations another Uruguayan in the 1930s decides to give his country a unique artistic identity Entity. Pedro Figari returns from Italy. He sees simple traditional life in Uruguay. He wants to show that and he thinks that European civilization and painting has lost that. America still has that. Let's show that in our paintings. So he covers the black community in Uruguay. He covers the essence of various emotional moments in traditional Uruguayan scenes. And he is important because he gives Uruguay artistic roots of its own. Fast forward to 2017. Central Bank of Uruguay decides to celebrate its 50th anniversary by commissioning painter Walter Deliotti to create a mural for their lobby. Now, Walter Deliotti is a painter who studied in the Torres Garcia School of Art. He is fascinated by public scenes from the turn of the 20th century, the early 1900s, and he decides to create a scene of a port called Construcción Portuaria, where everything is laid out in very simple, vivid form. Guys, we got to have this conversation about Uruguayan currency because my friend Abhinav Kumar went to Uruguay and brought me back an entire set of banknotes from Uruguay. I invited him on the show to share his story. He's seen a lot of very beautiful, interesting places, but very quickly he comes from a small town in India. He worked in an innovation lab that was making technologies for the Skill India mission and he moved all the way across the globe to work in a tech company in Uruguay. So Abhinav, over to you. Hey guys, I must say Uruguay is a very peaceful and nice country. People out there are very polite. If you get a chance, you must visit once in a life. I have visited two different places out there. The first one is Colonia, the oldest town in Uruguay facing Argentina from seashore. It is a very beautiful place. It is full of Spanish buildings. And another one is Punta del Este. It is a French-like town and full of beaches. And my favorite one was the Finger Beach. In one and a half year, I enjoyed working with people from different cultures. Overall, it was a very nice and learning experience for me especially from a small town in India to Uruguay I have learned so many things and it was a very wonderful experience of my life thanks bro so guys if you like that please give it a like subscribe follow me I'll see you later